Hey guys, so instead of doing a very elaborate ritual or very specific intentioned ritual this month, I'm just going to show you six super easy ways to manifest with the new moon. I'm not going to require you to buy any supplies. I'm not even going to tell you to burn anything today. So super easy, super simple, six ways manifest with the new moon. Let's go. Now, I'm also going to mention before I get into these six things that I have a whole video on how I prepare for ritual work. Now, when it comes to these very simple observations, I think that that becomes way more important. Um, in my video, I'll link it below and I'll put a card up here. Um, I go over all the ways in which I kind of build up the energy for my ritual work. If you're gonna do simple observations, I think it's really, really, really good to do that first. That way you have all this built up energy already set to go and all you need is a little bit of catalytic energy to make it move so you just do a simple observation and that is what moves it right if that makes sense so i'm going to link that below i recommend if you haven't seen it to go watch it if you have and you don't remember refresh on it um that video hasn't had a lot of views on it and i really think honestly of all my ritual videos i think that's the most important one i've made so go check it out so the first one is actually like a two-parter I've got one A and one B, and that's just writing. So one A is to script. If you have dabbled around the law of attraction community online, you'll see scripting very often. It's a very popular method, and for good reason, it is a good method. The way that I recommend doing your scripting is to write either a letter or preferably a journal entry as your future self in your future self's present tense. So, you know, write out a journal as if it's a year from now. And I always recommend um, that you focus on your emotions. I really believe that the emotional body is where you really transmute the thoughts into physical reality is by using your emotions. So focus on how it feels to be that person. Focus on how that person's life feels. Don't focus too much on really hard and tree specifics. This is kind of counter LOA, right? Most LOA will tell you to get really specific don't <laughs> i that's is where i i diverge from them um i think the best thing you can do is focus on how it feels request a feeling from the universe okay and allow it to bring your best version of that forward because you don't know what that is to be honest <laughs> you in, in all likelihood don't know um so just you want to focus on how it feels for that person I mean, you can have some specifics, like all my bills are paid, I have money in my savings account, like those are specifics, but I wouldn't say like, I have a Subaru Forester, <laughs> like I have, a, I have a car that I love, you could put that in there, you know, maybe you end up with a Cadillac. So don't get too specific, um, just write how it feels from a first person pr perspective. The other version, 1B is to literally just practically plan. So if you're watching this at the time that I'm releasing it, this is good whenever, but if you're watching it when I'm releasing it, spring is like a week away. This is an excellent time to just very strategically under the new moon um, plan. If you have a project, a business, anything, if you want to get your finances under control, this is an excellent time to just literally sit down um, again, that video I had before where you set your space and, and do all the, the preparation work, get some candles out, light some incense, get your space set up and sit down and really just practically plan out what it is you can do. That's the other option. Number two, really good for new moon is to just go and ground outside. Um, maybe this is just me because I'm a very in my core woo woo -wee kind of person. I try not, I try to like not get too crazy on here, but... <laughs> I really think there's some kind of transference magic that occurs. Go outside on the new moon and like walk barefoot. Put your feet to the earth and just kind of daydream. Like sit under a tree, think about what your future looks like. Just daydream, just walk around and allow your physical body to physically touch the earth while you're having these thoughts. It's almost like you're feeding it into the machine. Um, that's the way that I feel like it works. 
There is no science happening here, but I recommend it highly. Number three is um, I have a shower manifestation practice that I do um, that is phenomenal. So I talk about this a bit in the video I'm recommending where you prep, but I take it a step further. Um, when you go and take a shower, uh, you're gonna get in the shower, okay? And you're going to cleanse yourself, but not just cleanse yourself. You're gonna close your eyes and imagine the water to be cleansing all of you, your energy, your essence, your soul. And the way that I usually do this is I kind of imagine my body made of cobblestone and I don't know where this came from. This is just kind of a, I don't know, it was a very organic thing that occurred where I was visualizing in the shower and that just worked for me. So find what works for you. But for me, it's cobblestone. Like my whole body's made of cobblestone. And what happens is it's almost like the water can kind of get into all the crevices of my, in, my whole being and kind of rinse away what's kind of getting stuck, all my stuck everything. <laughs> Until in my mind's eye, I'm like a shiny, glistening, diamond-esque <laughs> person. And then I'm like brand new. So to take it a step further, um, I will then, as my new self, kind of imagine what is what is going to be right it's almost like my shower is a portal right if that makes sense it's a very it's a visualization practice where i'm imagining um my future again how it feels always focus on emotions how does it feel and it's not just that i work up excitement like when i'm in there after i've cleansed myself i am so excited to get out of the shower and head directly into the life that i know is coming because i've already seen it and it's about that kind of knowingness and getting really excited and pumped up for it and then when i get out of the shower i'm just like this new person in this new era like ready to take on my new life it's fantastic <laughs> and weirdly liberating oh oh also i can't let i forgot i'm so stupid um i know i'm listen i'm pro you don't have to shave like if you don't want to shave don't shave i'm about that life live your life but i swear <laughs> when i'm doing the like new moon cleansing myself visualization listen i don't shave very often because i just don't I will shave, I'll shave my whole legs. And there's something about, I'm literally taking off parts of my physical body and leaving it behind. And when I come out of the shower, I am like baby soft and brand new. And like, I'm a new person. I come out like a baby, like just hairless and shiny. <laughs> it really is uh, amazing. So I recommend shaving uh, when you're in there. I know that sounds kind of stupid, but I, I, I'm very conscious when I do it of the fact that I am removing parts of my old self that I don't need. And doing it with that mindset and with that uh, awareness, I think is really transformative. The next one is also super easy, and this is a good follow-up actually for a shower. And that is to do a specific Hertz frequency meditation. Now, um, I don't like to set up like crisscross applesauce <laughs> while I'm back straight. I'm just, I'm not good at it. My back hurts. I don't like it. I usually meditate just laying down. I get really comfortable and relaxed because if I'm focused on my body and my discomfort, then I'm, I'm not doing myself any good. So there's a specific, use whatever works for you, but there's a channel on YouTube called Meditative Mind. I love them. They have specific frequencies for anything. <laughs> Um, there's also a lot of playlists on Apple Music that I use, but Meditative Mind is good for finding a specific frequency that you need. Um, and then I'll lay down with whatever I'm working on. So they have a frequency for everything. You can also just go on Google and type in like Hertz frequency, whatever, whatever it is you're looking for. Um, and just turn it on, crank it up, burn some incense, whatever. Lay down, sit down, whatever you have to do to get comfortable. Be comfortable more than anything. Be comfortable. And just literally try. You Okay. Here's the thing. If when you do this, don't try to empty your mind. Because I really 
the act of trying to empty your mind becomes such a frustrating um, thing. And also it's, uh, that is a thought in and of itself. You thinking to not think is already, it's counterproductive to begin with. <laughs> That's a weird misconception that I feel like people often have. Don't do that. <laughs> Just lay there, relax, listen to the sound. If a thought comes into your mind, just observe it. Just be like, oh, that's, what are you doing, brain? <laughs> like, remove yourself from the thought and just kind of observe it and be like, okay, cool, I heard you. I don't really want to do that right now, though, but thanks. And then just listen to the sound of the frequency and do that for as long as you can or are comfortable or want to. Um, it's a really easy way to align your energy, your frequency with what it is you're trying to do under a new moon. It's very easy peasy, very relaxing, very chill, and a great follow-up to the shower. The fifth one, it's again another writing one. <laughs> if you watch my channel, you know I like to write a lot. I, I pen and paper, it really is magic, I swear by it. Um, I would recommend as a, as a different writing style or thing to do is a self-assessment. So, it's a new moon, right? So you're going to start a new cycle. So instead of planning your future or instead of scripting as your future, really just sit down with your present and look at where you are and what you're doing. It's a good time for shadow work also to cleanse things up before you start your new cycle. Although, to be fair, I think the full moon is probably better equipped for that. But still, sit down and do an assessment of where you are in any area of your life that you want to focus on, whether it's your career, money, family, friends, relationships, whatever the thing is, sit down on that area in life or your whole area or whatever. Literally write it all out, each area, I don't care. <laughs> Figure out what you're gonna do to assess yourself and really journal out where you are, where you're struggling, uh, where your strengths are and what you would like to do with yourself to moving forward. But do a present moment self-assessment. All right, so the sixth one is biologically gender specific. Um, if you are a biological female, then this is for you. <laughs> your womb is your power center. And that is, it's your feminine essence. And what comes out of you every single month is sacred. And I know that that's very taboo. And I know I sound like some weird Harry Woodland hippie right now. But listen, <laughs> it is powerful and I will swear by that. And I credit it for uh, miracles, just <laughs> miracles, really, honestly, like mind blowing. What in the actual fuck miracles? Um, what I do is I use a diva cup, so that makes it very simple. And that's the thing about it. It sounds like it's going to be gross and messy but it's not. I have a little glass hermetically sealed jar. I use a diva cup. It is an effortless little, and then I, it's hermetically sealed. Okay, look, it's just done. It's one of those, whatever, I think it's called hermetic seal. Yeah, one of those jars. Um, and I just collect it. And then on the new moon, I'll go outside and um, dig a little hole. You can just pour on the ground, but I live in a very residential area and also I just think about like attracting weird animals or like I don't know it just seems weird to just dump it on my grass so I just usually go and like dig a tiny I don't dig a deep hole like I just dig a little burrow and I pour it in there and I do so with gratitude that's the thing I don't try to like imbue an intention um, not that I haven't, I have, but I have found that what actually is more effective is instead of trying to like force my will upon it, I just give it with gratitude. And it's almost like there's this weird energetic loop that is like completed when I do that. It's like a cycle completed between me and a, and a greater cycle, right? And I just give it kind of like an offering almost with gratitude to the earth. All that being said, um, if you have other small little practices that you like to do on the new moon, um, leave in the comment section for other people to come and find. And if you're not following me on Instagram, Twitter, 
the thing and I'm a small little channel and I'm trying to grow so any likes comments subscribes those things are very helpful to me um, and I appreciate them immensely uh, don't forget to look at the description box also for the how to prepare for your ritual video I'm telling you it makes a difference believe me or not but I am not wrong <laughs> um, that's all I have for you guys today um, happy new moon and see you next time